Okay, March was the month for launch of budget phones like iQOO Z9, Realme 12 Plus 5G and nothing. I mean literally nothing. Nothing. This joke never gets old. Now April will have fewer launches but interesting ones. There are launches from OnePlus, Motorola, Samsung, Xiaomi, everyone. Also we might see an unexpected crossover of Apple and Google in AI and Apple just got sued by the US government. Oh, didn't see that coming. Exactly. The Pixel Lake Pixel just can't stop leaking. This is going to be a really exciting video. Let's go. First up is the OnePlus Nord CE4. It will officially launch in India on 1st April. Hope that it is not an April Fool joke. In terms of specs, it will come with Snapdragon 7 Gen 3. Now to clear the confusion, because Snapdragon and its weird naming scheme, the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 is an upgrade over Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 and not Snapdragon 7 Plus Gen 2. So in simple words, Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 is a mid-range chip. It will come with 256 GB of UFS 3.1 storage and 100 watt of Superbook charging. I hope OnePlus just doesn't mess up with the UFS storage typo this time. If you know, you know. Now as per rumors, it will have a 50 megapixel main camera and the camera is where I feel OnePlus is generally lacking. Now the price of the OnePlus Nord CE4 is rumored to be around 28,000. By the way, we did a holy logo contest and this was the winner. But these were the responses and not only so many people participated, but the logos, use of AI and the creativity from the Team TechWiser community was banger. And group work everyone, thank you. We'll be doing more such contests later on so we can share tech and creativity. Thank you once again. Next up, we have the Samsung M55. Now, in terms of specs, it is rumored to have Snapdragon 7 Gen 1 processor, 64 megapixel main camera, 6000 mAh battery, 8 GB RAM, 128 GB storage, and it will come with the latest Android 14 out of the box. There is no leaks or rumors about the pricing as of now, but usually the M and F series is an affordable variant of the A series, so I'm expecting it to be somewhere around 30,000. Next up, we have the Motorola Edge 50 Pro. It will officially launch in India on 3rd April. Now, Motorola has teased the specs on their Twitter handle, and even their product page is live on Flipkart. So if you see the product page, the H50 Pro will be joining the AI bandwagon. It will be all AI. It says that it has adaptive AI video stabilization, AI photo enhancement engine, and also as per Motorola, it's the world's first phone to have a Pantone validated camera. Now, I have never heard of a Pantone validated camera. So in simple words, Pantone is an organization which is basically a giant library, but for colors. I don't know what that has to do with camera, but just by having a look at the advertisement, it seems like the colors in the Motorola H50 Pro will be more closer to natural. Now, we have seen some camera collabs which have stood out like Xiaomi Leica, Vivo Zeiss and some that didn't turn out to be that well like the OnePlus Hasselblad. Now, if Pantone helps Motorola better their camera, we'll see. That's the question we might have to answer and we might or might not have the device with us. Subscribe to find out. Now, apart from the camera, the H50 Pro will have the Snapdragon 7 Gen 3 processor, Pantone validated display, 50 megapixel main camera and 125 watt fast charging. I don't know where that ends. In terms of pricing, there is a lot of confusion about it, but I'm assuming Moto H50 Pro has to be a premium device and priced around 35, 40,000 rupees. Talking about confusion, let's talk processors. If processor names weren't confusing enough, we have a new processor, Snapdragon 8S Gen 2. And if you see this leaked screenshot, it has scored around 18.5 lakhs. And to clear the confusion here, Snapdragon 8S Gen 3 falls between Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 and 8 Gen 3. Unlike Snapdragon 8 Gen 2, 8S Gen 3 is powerful enough to process AI features on the device. The way smartphone processors are named, I think they are inspired somewhere by Intel. On a serious note, Xiaomi is using the chip on their upcoming Xiaomi CV4 Pro. Now this phone will come to India, maybe with the name Xiaomi 14 Lite. The name can be different, but it is definitely coming to India. In terms of specs, this will have the Snapdragon 8S Gen 3, 1.5K, 120Hz AMOLED display, it will have Android 14 out of the box and a metallic frame. Now, the Xiaomi CV4 Pro has already launched in China for around 35,000 rupees, but after custom duty everything, I think in India it will come around 40-45,000. Next up, we have the Infinix Note 40 Pro series. Now, it is already launched in Malaysia and it is expected to launch in India in the last week of April. Now, in terms of specs, it has the MediaTek Helio G99 Ultimate names these days, 70 watt wire charging and 20 watt of wireless Mac charge. Nice name. Now, it has Infinix custom Cheetah X1 chip which optimizes charging speed as per different scenarios like gaming and all of that to keep the temperature of the phone under control while charging. It has dual speakers by JBL and a 108 megapixel OIS camera. Now, it might launch somewhere around 20 to 25,000. Good to see wireless or MagSafe charging in budget. Next up is the Google Pixel 8a. Pixel is the only phone that gets unboxed even before the release. Pre-boxing. 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 <laughs> 
Now the Pixel A series usually launches at Google I/O event. The Google I/O event is officially happening on May 14, 2024. In terms of specs, the Pixel 8a is rumored to come with Tensor G3 processor, and it will have an underclock Tensor G3 processor to reduce the cost and justify the pricing. Now, in terms of display, it will have the same Full HD Plus display, but this time it will be a 120 Hz refresh rate with 1400 nits of peak brightness, 64 megapixel main camera plus 13 megapixel ultra wide angle camera, and it is said that the USB-C port on the Pixel 8a will also be a display out port, so you can connect a monitor or an external display. Maybe we see something like Dex in Android 15 finally. Now there's no leaks about the pricing, but uh, going as per Google's past track record, Pixel 8a should launch around 40-45 thousand. Now coming to the most hot hot topic, Apple is in talks with Google for building AI on the next iPhone and iOS 18. Yes, you heard that right. Previously, Apple shut down its car division to redirect the entire team to work on AI. They have to shut down the car to make AI. AI is taking jobs. <laughs> <laughs> Now there were rumors that Apple is working on their own AI engine Apple MM1. For those of you who don't know AI engines are the back end of an AI website or chatbot. For instance, GPT-4 is the back end AI engine of ChatGPT. Now Currently, as per multiple reports, Apple is seeking out Google's Gemini, which will power the AI features in the upcoming iOS 18. Now, as we know, Gemini is capable of generating images, summarizing YouTube videos, fetching unread emails, all of that in Android phones. In fact, most of Samsung AI features are powered by Google's AI engine Gemini. So, if the Apple Google talks works out, then Siri might be equipped with Gemini features, and you know what that means. It's crazy if I told you two years ago that you might see Google as a digital assistant on an iPhone. You wouldn't believe it. And talking about unbelievable things, after getting sued multiple times by EU, Apple is now sued in its own home country by the US Department of Justice for unfair competition. To put it into simple words, if I have an iPhone in the US, I can only do tap to pay via Apple Wallet. Other apps like Google Pay are not allowed to use the NFC for tap to pay, or even simpler things like if I have a Sony headphone. I cannot pair it with the iPhone by just tapping it. So Apple makes it harder for the competition to make products that are compatible with iPhones, thus pushing the user to buy more products from Apple and just stay inside the ecosystem. This has been a very rough week for Apple. Let us know what do you think about this walled garden issue. And I'm really excited about the Apple integrating Gemini for AI. Now if that happens, Would Siri be replaced with Google Assistant? I mean, I think I'm getting too ambitious about that. On that note, this is Vishal Shahi. I'll see you in the next video. Pew pew. Pew pew.